Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to use Azure Media Services to do audio transcriptions. And audio transcriptions will analyze the audio in an audio or video file and it will do things like uh, detect emotion in it and uh, turn text or turn speech into text, which I think is really fascinating. That'll take the words that are spoken, understand them, and create a text file that you can then use to display to your users. Let me show you how that's done. Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll remember that we actually created a transform and a job that analyzed videos. And one of the things that that analysis did is it output some, uh, some closed captions and some motion. It did some of that stuff for us. But sometimes you don't want to do all that. It took extra time to do other things. It did beyond that, um, like uh, face detection and object detection, things like that. Uh, maybe you just want to do the, the, the audio analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my video here, David, right here. In fact, actually, before I do that, I'll just show you the video we're talking about. I've started this streaming endpoint here. So it's an 11-minute video, just says a few words. But if I go back to the original video that I uploaded, and that upload is in a previous video that I've created on, uh, on Gcast, um, then what I could do is I could add a, well, first let's look at the storage container, because if you remember, assets point to one or more files inside of a blob storage container. This one only has one right here. Um, let's add a new job and we'll create a new transform for this job. A transform is just a template for running a job. A job is the execution of that template. We're going to call it David Audio Transcription Transform. Select audio transcription as the transform type. Automatic language detection, no. I want to just tell it that I was speaking English, in fact, US English. The output file, I'm going to call it the same as this right here. I'll be consistent. I'll just call it David Audio Transcription. That'll be the name of the asset that's created. I'm going to store all the associated files in this Azure storage account, and the job name will be David Audio Transcription Job. And for the priority, I could give it a high priority or a low priority. Um, I'll give it a high priority. What the heck? And I'll click on Create, and the job is going to be added. But what will happen is that um, if I go back to here, I can look at those transforms and jobs right here. And here it is. And you see that the job, there's the transform, there's the job associated with it. You can see that it's processing. Click on this and I'll get some more details about it. It is processing. It takes about a minute for this thing to finish. So I'll pause the video right here and come back when it's done. And now the job is completed. It took about a minute or so before it was done. And what happened is that job actually created an asset. If I, there's actually a link to that asset right here in the job detail right there. But I. I want to show you where it is in Azure Media Service, so later on when you come back to it, you'll know where. This is the Assets Blade, and where there used to be three assets, now there's a fourth, fourth one right here. And it has a link to the storage container, which contains all the files that were generated by that job. You'll see them right here. And we'll take a look at when they're, they're, the emotions. That was such a short one that I don't think it'll get any emotions, but what the heck, let's... Go ahead and download it. Click on the details here and download emotions. And in fact, we'll download each one of these things. Um, insights, download, lid JSON, download, metadata JSON, download, transcript TTML, download, and transcript VTT, download. I think those last two are the most interesting ones. And if I go into my downloads folder, here, you'll see there's those files right here, and I want to open up emotions.json in Visual Studio Code. And you'll see there's nothing in there that it was, it was short enough that it was hard to 
for detect any emotions. Let me close that. And uh, insights.json. Open that with Visual Studio Code and format it as a JSON document. You can see some information in here about there's the transcript inside of here in its own JSON format. What else? Uh, some statistics in here. Let's close that. Uh, lid.json. This has information on the language. Language spoken at uh, English US was the one the master language is 100% confident of that and in the case that was unsure these languages here like French and Deutsch, uh, German and Italian etc. it would tell you what percentage of things maybe possibly it might be Japanese or Italian but it was pretty darn confident as this. So I'll close that. Uh, the next one is metadata. This is just information about the file itself about the audio itself, the width and the height and the pixels and the the ratio and so on. And these last two I think are really interesting. These are the transcripts, TTML and VTT. So they contain the same information, just different formats here. Here we have a confidence level that between zero and seven seconds, I said this video is about Azure Media Services and Azure Media, and for the next second, services are awesome. Um, so it Broke it out by times. It has a confidence level for each one. Pretty useful information. This is the same information, just a different format. Right here, this video is about Azure Media Services, and Azure Media Services are awesome. And these formats, VTT and TTML, they're standards, and they can be used on the web in different applications. And we're going to use them to actually add some captions to our video because if you remember I can go back to my assets I did this in an earlier video let's see in my Azure Media Service this adaptive created this video in fact it created in multiple ones it's right here and I was able to use a file kind of like this right here a video file if you want I'll get rid of that track for right now or actually I won't get rid of it I'll just comment it out and um, here this is a, an HTML video tag with a source and this SRC property of that source I'm going to point to this manifest that I can find under view locator. Actually, I can find it right there. I'll just grab that one right there. It's also in here. This right here as well. But I'll grab it here and save that. And now if I run this application, this is just a uh, that's just one page inside of a Visual Studio uh, web application. Uh, nothing special about it. I just wanted to run under it this. So the page is called playit.html and you can see right there is the video and once it loads and I showed you this before and heck you can do it different bit rates that's kind of cool you can change the volume these controls are by default in there you can customize this even further if you want with uh, extra HTML or style sheets but what I want to do is I want to add some captions to this. And I can do this by adding a track tag. And the track tag will be either the VTT file or the TTML file. Two of these. But in order for this to work, I actually have to have these files in the same container where the video is. That video is playing right here, so I need to go to this container right here and yeah, there are files here, but there's no TTL or uh, VTT or TTML files here. I need to add those. So I'm going to upload, select a file, and I'll go to the downloads folder right here, and I'll add these two files to this container, like so. And there they are. Now they're in the same folder. Where are they? Uh, right here, here, 
and here in the same folder with all the videos, all the adaptive videos that I'm playing. And once I have that, then I can take this file, this transcript.vtt file, and copy it into this track element in the source property right here, it's source attribute. Um, but it's not just a, don't want to just put it here, I want to make sure it's getting it from the right place. Remember I said it had to be in the same folder as this video? Well, let's grab that folder here as far as Azure Media Services knows it. We'll get that URL right here and save that. And then we'll start this again, F5, and navigate to that page, playit.html. And now we get the captions at the bottom of that. And if I had multiple caption files, I could actually change the language. I could turn captions off, etc. Now I've got some really nice functionality here for people that want to add captions to their video. In this video, I've shown you how to use Azure Media Services to generate audio transcriptions and how to use the captions files to add captions to your video. This is David. Thank you for watching.